Well, hello, Wastelanders. Damien, glad to hear you're having a good morning. So everybody, here we are back in Nuka World, and something I noticed was that we apparently did not clear the b bottling plant's exterior, even though we killed the Mire Alert Queen. There must be somebody still hanging around that place. So I guess we gotta go back and do it. Uh, but other than that, Kitty Kingdom might be some might be fun because we have the. Uh, what is it, the Expanded Feral Ghouls pack going on now? And I have been obsessed. I have not been able to stop playing the Expanded Feral Ghouls pack in the Death Tunnel on another, a different playthrough, not this one. Oh man, I'm definitely Remember gonna show, to show people some more about that. To get half off an order of Nuka fries at Cappy's Cafe but in Nuka let's Town, see USA. if we can clear the exterior of the bottling plant here. Must be like a Mire Lurk Queen up on, or I mean um, Nuka Lurk King or something up on the roof of the place. You know. Must have left a couple couple of them up there. Hope everybody's doing well. Where we can get up there from here. Because I should have gone around the other side. Right? <laughs> That's right, Hajro. Nuka World train. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I've been having a good day. I've been having a good day. So left somebody alive out here. So here's the thing. Uh, in the death tunnel, when I'm playing the expanded ghouls pack, you know, feral ghouls pack, uh, there's this section I got to that is so loaded with enemies that it freezes the game up unless I snipe a couple with a silenced weapon so it doesn't alert all of them, then kite them back and take them out and then wait until I'm hidden, move up again, get the attention of a couple at a time. It's a delicate operation, but I've been able to tease it out to the point where I might even get past this section of the death tunnel, and that means I think we can get a full run of that death tunnel in together on stream sometime. Hey, you fellas. Is it the, is it the eggs? You think that's what we didn't get out of the way last time? Maybe if we kill some eggs, one of these uh, nuka lurks will pop up out of the ground or something, right? See where these enemies are yet. We'll find somebody hiding out up here, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, modded game shenanigans. You know, it's it's a little bit modded game shenanigans. It's also a little bit that the death tunnel packs so many enemies into one spot. You know, they, they have cells with just so many. You <laughs> you guys will see. You guys will see what I'm talking about soon enough. And the, I'm running around with the FCOM mod there too, right? The Fallout Commander mod. And I have... It's my Brotherhood of Steel playthrough. I figured who better to kill ghouls with. Um, but I gotta tell you, you enter a cell and your guys don't come with you right away. Sometimes you are... I don't know. Ten minutes and a hundred enemies in before one of them decides to show up. Even your companion doesn't just, like, show up in these cells right away. And I don't know if it's because they're so crowded they won't load or what. But, 
but s there's there's a lot of times where I am solo, whether I like it or not, in some very enemy dense situations. And I think the only thing that has saved me is the Tesla attachment on one of my energy weapons. I'm using Righteous Authority because it's a Brotherhood playthrough, and I'm telling you that Tesla attachment that arcs between enemies is that kind of AOE crowd control is all that has saved me most of the time. Alright, so did we do it? Oh, I think I think that guy was the only thing left. Cause let's go to miscellaneous. Our superior technology represents the future of the Road, high noon. World of refreshment. We did it. Okay. We did it. And it looks like we leveled up. Yeah, Dom, I suspect my backup arrives when the cell has been cleared out enough for them for them to like you know, spawn in. Uh, I I have that suspicion because it seems like when I would need a crew the most is when they aren't there. It's only when the enemies get a little more thinned out <laughs> that they show up. <laughs> oh, you guys, I can't wait to show you, honestly. But we'll get maybe a little taste of it today if we do Kitty Kingdom, which is a lot of work to clear, as you know. Uh, so let's see here, perks-wise. We are full up on Gunslinger, which is very nice, because we're all about the pistols. It is a railroad build, so, you know, sneak sneak stuff or Mr. Sandman might be good. I like the idea of silenced weapons doing a little more damage because that makes sense for her. But we also have been, you know, working our way into Heavy Gunner, which I like. You know, if I ever need to really do a lot of crowd control, you know, uh, heavy weapons are fun. So, oh, Also, I downloaded Degenerate Dax's new incendiary um, launchers. They're fun. They're fun. I've already been trying them out in the death tunnel. Uh, so we might pick one of those up. <laughs> A stream plan? Yeah, I mean... The, I Okay, admittedly, I'm not, like, way planned out. I have this DLC thing we're doing together, but I think once Nuka World's done, we could, we could, you know, divert for a minute into death tunnel type stuff. Yeah, fusion core. Not that I'm all about fusion cores in this playthrough, but, you know. Alright, cool. We're on the sense guide. All right, boys. I think it's time. I think it's time for us to go to Kitty Kingdom, or I guess we could do uh, the Safari Adventure. <laughs> I haven't tried his Cowboy Carbine, but the launcher seemed really interesting because I want a lower weight alternative to missile launchers, you know? We are going to show up at the gates in front of Kitty Kingdom, right? When I fast travel to Kitty Kingdom. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, Z1, you have a point. You do have a point. Okay, right. Okay, I'm just now remembering Kitty Kingdom is just an absolute rad, like, punisher. We only have 33 rad resistance on this character, too. She is not... Ooh, this... Hmm. <laughs> this could get ugly. Uh, all right. She doesn't have an incendiary launcher in her inventory, though. Just, just so you guys know, we'll have to pick one up somewhere. Somebody could drop one, we could buy one. Um, the Brotherhood of Steel has a unique that uh, Proctor Teagan sells. Not in this railroad playthrough, we killed the Brotherhood of Steel in this one, but um, I did pick that up in my other playthrough. It recharges health on critical hits. It's got an interesting perk. Okay. 
I don't have very much to ward off radiation damage except Radex, so here goes, I guess. Let's just remind ourselves what we're working with for weapons, right? Uh, okay, not bad. Oh, yeah. Freedom Bringer. At full uh, Gunslinger perks, this thing's doing some damage, too. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's why I've been using this Institute Adaptive Launcher. Look at this thing's weight, 7.1. Once you start to throw a lot of attachments on this thing, the weight starts jumping up. Like, if this was a quad barrel version, it'd weigh 12 pounds or something instead. So I've just, I've kept a single, you know, single barrel version just just because every once in a while you want to launch a missile and this one's low enough weight that you can kind of justify carrying it around until those rare moments when you're really going to use one but okay let's see oh I like it let's use the let's see how far this um, the freedom bringer gets us how, how far does a revolver get us oh by the way I did mess with it uh See how our fire rate's down to 5, and it was like at 85 with that advanced dual action receiver? It's because I I realized the Degenerate DAC attachment pack lets us rechamber this thing in 4570. I had a ton of that ammo, without anything to do with it really, and the damage goes up. And I thought, let's just, let's just make this more of a dedicated, like, heavy hitter sniper gun. And less of a, you know, less of a semi-auto pistol <laughs> but what I'm curious about is will the feral ghoul expansion pack uh, start showing up here it if it does it's gonna show up pretty strong because we're so high level we're at 62 or something like that let's do this right All right, I'm seeing the painted ghouls in the DLC right now. Oof. Man, look at that radiation ticking up. Did I even bring enough rat away? Yeah, I did. But it's still kind of messed up. <laughs> yeah, I believe you, Z1. I believe that the 4570 in real life would be... have a lot of kick. But, you know, thankfully, our characters get to have just stupidly impervious wrist strength, so... Okay, I honestly don't remember where the best place to go from here is, but it feels a little like we should sort of try to clear out the the front of the park a bit, you know? Oh, here. That charred feral is from Deadly Commonwealth. So we're not seeing anything from the... Uh, expansion pack yet. And it might be because this is so scripted. Man, it's rads. No fair. Sorry, I'm, I'm gonna have to keep jumping back in here and, and getting rid of rads, guys. Are you guys talking about the Robocop pistol? Hey, listen, fellas, you have seen the Deliverer, right? Maybe you guys are already talking about this. But with the Degenerate DAC attachment pack, you kind of have a Robocop-esque Deliverer with the Enforcer barrel. You see it? Anyway. Maybe you guys were already talking about that, but but I 
have been distracted by what's on my <laughs> on my uh, game screen. All right. I thought maybe this section would get buck wild if uh, if a bunch of enemies, a bunch of those other ghouls spawned in here, but it's not looking like that's how it's going so far. Man, do I even have Radix on board? This is nuts. Yeah, right. A lot of things can can be in the Fallout world, right? I mean, it's it's fairly permissive, but then it's for me, it's when things to get start to get too tactical that it starts to lose the retro futurism and just turns into you know just a any other apocalypse. Really. Yeesh. I feel like I need an IV drip of of Rataway. I gotta say, the uh, Freedom Bringer is just like a one-hit, one-and-done kind of, one-and-done kind of gun. I guess that one's already dead. Oh, reload time, then. All right. Uh, oh, hi, buddy. If I remember right, the smartest thing to do is head into the tunnels. Uh, I'm gonna be sick. I mean, it definitely doesn't do it all for you, but but we can head into the tunnels. I think. If I can remember where the tunnels are. Something about... Something about following the go-kart tracks, you know? Man. What? Do, 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 do. We must have... Ooh, this has got rad resist built into it. Yeah, let's, let's go there. I like it. Getting anybody new though, right? Not really. I'm only seeing the uh, Deadly Commonwealth expansion stuff here. Oh, oh, ka! You know how often do you get a legendary Gatling laser, and then here it is. A relatively difficult to use perk. And this guy dropped a fusion core with it, huh? Man, that was almost an awesome drop. You know, just almost. Where did you go, Nick? Oh, right. I forgot. Nick's wearing some X01. <laughs> uh. Do something for you? For yeah, I went to the uh, National Guard training yard to just do a side quest after we jumped off stream. And there was some X01 there that I had him step into and I forgot. I forgot he was still wearing it. <laughs> well, maybe he can carry more. Let's see. Wow, improved scattered. All right, well that drops this back. Hmm, 
Yeah, I have to agree, uh, Hajro. The assault rifle does make more sense as a power armor oriented weapon. And then I really like the M2045 um, like revolver rifle mod. I don't know if you guys know that one. I've had it on a few of my characters. It's supposedly kind of a Brotherhood of Steel type weapon. And if you, it, you know, certain barrels have a penalty for using them outside of power armor because they're just too heavy and long to be believed as like doable without power armor. So I really like that actually. Okay, we got got lots lots of aid. Let's just keep this going. A marine arm. Oh. Well, that's I mean, I'll anytime somebody's going to drop me a legendary piece of marine armor, I'm like, cool. I can dig it. Dude, somebody hit me. Do we? Do we got company? Man, I appreciate this gun. Yeesh. I mean, I guess I can go... Look at this refreshing beverage. Cures all addictions. 500 HP. 1,000 rad reduction. Wow. I'm not going to waste it on this moment. Okay, these cars come through pretty savage. Nice. This thing's fire rate is not great, but it doesn't need a very good fire rate. Oh boy, so we're going to get beat up by these cars, I think. I got this whole crew with me. It's probably going to get their butts just trashed by these carts. As we try to find the door into the tunnels. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Oh boy. I like his trash talking. You know, Oswald is pretty cool actually. Eh. Okay. Where where's the ghoul? Heard a ghoul. <laughs> Whatever. Detected. Curious. Oh. Who is this guy? Legendary. Okay, we gotta check out what he dropped. You know, we've been getting some interesting drops. Marine armor, Gatling lasers. Oh, and it's a baton. Exterminator baton. Yeah, I think we'll live without that. Rad right away. Okay. I like a lot of the, you know, like I see the Varmint Revolver and stuff like that. I, I like a lot of the early game weapon mods out there. They're neat. But, uh... They also, it's a little tough to have your load order full of them because they do drop off in usefulness. No, no, I don't think that's going to work this time. There's something different about this one. I can do that too. It's kind of interesting how non-feral ghouls can communicate with feral ghouls sometimes, or at least, or, or and be tolerated by them. You know. 
back in order. We'll fix this. I promise. There. Oh, that yeah, save just character. in case. That's nice. I need to prepare <laughs> Good some idea. more surprises for our visitor. So I'll leave you to find your way out. Let's do some saving. Shall we? Why are we worried that the quest will break in the funhouse, guys? I don't think I could shoot this guy here, right? Shit, we got company. Look alive, everyone. Man. Ads in this place. Oh. <laughs> I almost felt bad taking out that ghoul after Oswald had the little pep talk with it. Because, you know, if he can have a conversation like that, either he's delusional or they are, like, conscious beings. Hmm. But the fun house is my least favorite. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> my very least favorite is the fun house. It's just it's just so much, you know. I don't remember what we're supposed to be doing here. Okay, okay. All systems nominal. Okay, I do not remember where this spit us out. Uh, that's the Ferris wheel. Where did that guy go? Oh, that's not a ghoul. <laughs> it's a little easy to mistake my Gen 1 for a ghoul. Really oh, now. oops, the tracks. They just go in a big circle. If you couldn't see that coming, I don't know what you think you're doing here. Oh my gosh. Insufferable. And we're back at the front gates, huh? Well, of course we are. Let's see if my people can follow me or not. I'm about to mess with their pathing, I'm pretty sure. Back with the rad damage. Dang. Hmm. <laughs> let's see, let's see. This is running us low on aid items, that's for sure. Okay, the fun house is... I thought we were right on top of it here. Guess not. Oh, hey! There's a... See the feral bile? That's an expanded... Like a, a ghoul expansion pack thing. There's some kind of weapon you can craft with the bile, I guess. A weapon that uses the bile somehow. Maybe use it for ammo? I don't even know. I, I didn't get that far to find out. But I know that the bile weighs like 1.1 pounds, so it's you can't just carry infinite amounts of it around. That part I did find out. Okay. As usual, I'm lost. <sighs> Kitty Kingdom. Dang. And I guess we'll do... What else do I have that I can just eat? Sure, why not? And then we'll do... Jeez. 
<laughs> Hip fire accuracy is not awesome with this, is it? Still in one piece. A couple of them managed to follow me here. Well, yeah, the Fallout Ghouls extended thing. It it does it can cause some crashes. I can tell, you know, uh, I can just tell. But I mean, you know, it's. It's kind of worth it a little bit, especially if, especially since it seems pretty stable, except when tons of enemies load in at the same time. Okay, where is this dang fun house? I have completely lost my bearings. Ugh, I suppose... Well, let's go this way. Ugh, guys! Oh, yeah, I guess my sneak perk kept me from... I know I don't finish a lot of sentences in the middle of a fight, do I? Oh, these sprayers. Killing me. Yeah, the van's perk, yeah, no doubt. Oh, <laughs> no doubt. Hostile sensor, you must be targeted. Hours tense. Okay. Yeah, there's more feral bile. So they are... So that ex that expansion is in the game. It will do something. Okay. Well, there we go. Now we know. I remember there being something up here. Was it a magazine? Definitely some enemies. I know that. Falling from the sky now. Oh my gosh, the Radex is worn off. I have to admit, I'm wishing I had come a little more prepared for the Rads. It's not like I didn't know that I, what I was getting into. <laughs> Mannequins are messing with me. Quest marker here, but but why? So there's King Colas, yeah, knew that. Is the dang fun house. It's over there somewhere, right? Yeah, I think we're finally up above the rad sprayers here. That part's nice at least. Whatever I was supposed to look for here, I don't see it, so... Oh, there's a cappy. Are we wearing the right glasses? 
Railroad goggles. We should be able to see it if there's a cappy around here. Let's find that cappy. Right? That's probably what the quest marker is there for. Guys, guys. Oh, I see it. See it? Eh, eh, eh. Alright, here we go. That's three clues. Letters must spell something. So, Kodiak. I had to come up with another guy because we lost, uh, what was it? Judge. He's got a perk available. What does he not have, right? We got Heavy Gunner 2 I could give him, which seems like a good one. Okay. Thank you for telling me that was a cappy thing. Appreciate that. I don't know how these guys are staying alive in all the rads, you know? Like, you'd think it would affect the NPCs following you, too, but... Oof. Funhouse, guys. Is this it here? Don't you think you're a little big for that ride? Oh lord, no, that's not it. Okay. Though we do occasionally make exceptions for simpletons like yourself. I like his trash talk. Seriously. of these do sure all right I know the stinking fun house is around here somewhere I know we're getting close there you are fun house hey at least the rads will stop in there yeah we're gonna find that other cappy too I guess I mean we might as well we're here. Oh, the spinning room. Hey, okay. Shit, we got company. Oh. For now. Oh, must have followed us through the door. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is a bit much. Let's see. What do we? What do we have for weapons? You know, what is a good one for like short range? Walk around the corner, take somebody out. Maybe the turbocharger. That might be a good one. It does a little radiation damage, though, which would heal them slightly, I suppose. <laughs> but yeah, here, let's... Let's get this bad boy out, huh? trigger his own mind. Wait, okay, so he's not actually... Wow, this is annoying, but kind of funny that he's not actually there. I will limit the pain I inflict, if possible. He lost his arm, but I can't loot his arm, which makes sense because he's not dead yet, but still. Okay. I 
genuinely don't remember exactly how to get out of here. Did we do it? <laughs> is this the way we... I think this is the one we want. Oh, gosh. <sighs> okay. Okay. Well, this is how we do it, I guess. Sprinting, sprinting, jumping. <sighs> All right. Here we go. Oh, and of course. Uh, okay. I like to, you know, I like to try to use the spinning platforms. Okay, missed our shot on that round. Missed our shot on that round. Wait, am I just forgetting how this works? Oh, and I missed it again. Okay, hang on guys. Parkour is not not my strong suit. Uh, uh, there we go. Okay. Whew. Whew. Man. There's an issue of a magazine in the spinning tube? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, the office parkour scene. True. I'm just jumping into empty refrigerator boxes at this point. Yeah, reduced nausea mode, please. Uh, let's go ahead and just open this up. Just in case we end up on the other side of this door again. I mean, I remember this being a bit of a labyrinth to get through, so... Here goes nothing. Mm. Uh, this one's... Oh, you can go through this one. Okay. Love that animation. Okay. You know what? I feel like that's worth a save. Let's just do this. <laughs> Is the cap stash that important, guys? I've got caps. I mean, seriously. It's all about caps. If I don't lose my team somehow in all this, I'm going to be shocked. Wow, guys, you're like actually kind of here. That's amazing. <laughs> Hostile sensor. Sorry. Should have just run. Okay. All right, we're here. We're in the illusion room. are resilient. Yeah. So far though, I'm really only seeing the ghouls I expect from the Deadly Commonwealth expansion. Alright, up on the ceiling. That door? Better not be talking about that door because I definitely can't get to that one. Uh... Um. 
<laughs> oh, that's that's fun. I mean, <laughs> you know what, guys? I'm sorry if this is making people feel a little bit sick. I don't. I don't need the cab stash, right? I mean, it's not that important, is it? Let's do it this way. Hey guys. <laughs> I like being able to just close the door on them. Okay. That works. Okay, you know what? Let's just go with something lightweight. Yeah, you can see that feral bile, so... The, uh, the expansion pack is real. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Fun. How is this here? <laughs> Just floating. Ooh. Ooh. I guess I should, uh... I don't know what happened there. Ooh. <laughs> Lots of little surprises for us, right? But where is the cappy? I think I know where it is. Oops, not there. There it is. Okay, that's another clue found. I guess I'll grab that. Um, not disturbing at all. Aha! Found it. <laughs> we found our way out. Woo! Um, wait. Okay. Whew, save time again. Cappy acquired. That is right. And I don't know if you guys saw in Discord, but uh, Fallout Boy explicitly asked us not to do uh, open season today. But I don't think we're going to. I think we're going to do the two parks. Oops, I, uh, I really ought to take some rat away before I do that. There we go. Um, well. Weird that Oswald's little, like, disappearing act thing happened through the wall there, right? Oh, I see. It's just because he was still hanging out at that console. Okay, Nuke Elixir. Uh, I know we have to check a terminal or some such thing. Um, I don't know if we have to check it, but I think we do. Hmm. This would be a nice room to be able to just come into first, right? Uh, I don't know. Is there anything important in here? I know that if we read the monitor, we can kind of learn some of the history of, of the theme park. How a lot of the employees kind of try to take shelter in here for a while and 
started to kind of realize that they were becoming ghouls. Okay. Is there anything we need to do here, though? Not really, right? I think we can just kind of leave, can't we? Oh, I hate the disciples. But I tend to start crap at the front gate because of the, um, you know, Minutemen Take Over Nuka World mod that I've used mostly. Let's see. But I don't, I don't plan on using it this time around. You know, we're the railroad. We're going to run in there with some railroad backup. Search the tunnels. Search the funhouse. Search the theater. Wow, so we've... Huh. I guess we searched the tunnels? We can just go to the theater now? All right. I mean, I won't argue with that. For some reason, I thought maybe it was a bit more involved. <laughs> yeah, the operators, they're pretty slick. I like I like Mason from the pack. As far as the leaders go, he's got he's got the most personality. But all right, all right. Let's get back to the theater. Oof, sprayers. Lame. Baby rattle. By order of the institute, must be destroyed. Okay, <laughs> park on. Here we go. I I think because this is so scripted, we're just not seeing those other variants of uh, ghouls. And I guess that's fine. You know, if it was going to break it or something, then I wouldn't want us to deal with that anyway. coming just I'm just gonna re-up my radix <laughs> in the middle of being shot by missiles really Ugh, and then I gave my synth a uh, you know one of those um weapons that breaks legs <laughs> and he hits me every once in a while with it it's kind of funny almost I guess that's what I deserve being cheap like that okay I like I like how this ghoul was riding this thing and died Presumably, just died riding this toy. It's all, it's all they wanted to do, and that's they went out doing what made them happy. I admire them for that. A regrettable moment. Is someone present? That was tense. All right, guys. All right. Let me see, Inquisitor. What stash? What stash to grab?
you sided with the raiders on your brotherhood character? <laughs> Jeez, Paladin. Thank you, Damien, for helping the Inquisitor out. Inquisitor, I am sorry for ignoring you. I just get a little, ooh, a little hung up in what's going on on my gaming screen and a little negligent of the people I really care about. Sorry. Was there another stash in there? Dang! I guess I'll grab some more feral bile just so we can see what it is that we craft with it. <laughs> Whoa! I did not know the deliverer had that kind of knockdown power. Okay. Oh my gosh, the rads are stupid here. Okay, I'm a little lost. There's the theater. Um. It is interesting to go, you know, out to this area where Oswald's love interest hung out. I think it's in here. Yeah, the, the tower, right? Uh, the Brotherhood of Steel, they are kind of like raiders with big guns. Except, you know, kind of a little religious about it. I mean, there's retro-futuristic and then there's just retro knights and, you know, paladins and all this Arthurian legend stuff, the Pridwin. Ooh, hey, let's, uh, let's do grill up some of this stuff. I've been just eating my way through... All kinds of aid. What do I have that I can cook, right? Oh, not as much as I thought. Alright. I just like cookies, guys. I mean, I don't even know how to be picky. Kitty Kingdom Tunnels Key. Wait. And then I remember, not that we have to read them here, but I remember the terminal entries in here essentially being from Oswald's girlfriend. They got ghoulified together, and she was trying to find a cure for a long time. She's got a little chemistry station and stuff, and she was just, she spent a ton of time, Rachel, that's her name, trying to find a cure for the ghouls, and it just, it just never worked, right? And then Oswald... I guess, out of grief, has sort of been delusional ever since. Oh, dang, that's a good memory, Damien. <laughs> so your corrupt Brotherhood of Steel. Well, sorry, that's Rogue Paladin I'm responding to. I get it. I get it. I never, you know, I, I don't fully understand where the Brotherhood of Steel are coming from. They, they seem to want to protect everybody else from the thing they're doing. Like, you know. The series did a decent job of uh, expressing that, don't you think? Got a loot, you know. We'll be going in the theater and fighting more ghouls soon enough. 
just a melon, just just here. Even though ghouls don't really need to eat, and it's been 200 years since anyone made anything in this kitchen. I guess it hasn't been that long. The employees were living here for a while before they ghoulified, right? I just haven't been in here so long that I'm sort of just checking it out again, because I've forgotten what all's in here. <laughs> oh. She died with cash. Didn't help her much, did it? What do we got here? Buff out? Day tripper. That's a that's an unusual one to find. In here, because that may take a while. Okay, nope, not gonna do that. All right, I think we're ready. I think we're ready to confront Oswald. What weapon? What weapon? Do we want to use in here? Huh, got a bunch of synth relay grenades. Got the knife. Hey, hun. Oh, Inquisitor, I don't think the show painted the uh, Brotherhood of Steel in that flattering of a light. They seem like dicks. Seriously. I mean, look at the way Maximus and uh, Thaddeus get treated. Look at the way the Brotherhood really is just willing to sacrifice people and treat people like garbage for the sake of their hierarchy. They they didn't come off as the good guys to me in the series. Which makes sense, because they never come off as the good guys to me in the games. I mean, they're okay. They're like... Well, as Maximus in the series mentioned, they're kind of like a gray area. I'll admit, I didn't think you'd make it this far. I can tell you're different than the you. I love being able to loot these guys before I have to fight them. That's so kind of fun. Bother with the usual tricks and illusions I use to scare off the super. Where are the subtitles? When the bombs there fell, it is. Okay. Everything changed. We changed, and somehow I received a gift. Actual magic, the stuff of legend. Perhaps you'd like to see some. Uh, no Alright. Very impressed by you being a glowing one, dude. <laughs> I think my guys have this. Join me on the roof of King Cola's castle, and we'll see an end to this production. I only fired one bullet. That's hilarious. I don't think we need to check out the dressing rooms or any of that stuff, right? But do you guys think we're ready here? Let's let's put some Rataway on board, or Rat Radex on board. The Enclave is not better than the Brotherhood of Steel, hun. <laughs> uh, they're not better. They're they're worse. They're worse than the Brotherhood. Come on, let's give the Brotherhood that much at least. I mean, I gotta give them what I have to give them their due. They're not the Enclave. In fact, the Brotherhood really makes the most sense as basically the Enclave that's not as bad as the Enclave. When it, when the two of them have to battle, it's you'd rather see the Brotherhood win. This is a pretty crowded Sound. elevator, guys. Let me out. Okay. You raiders are all the um, same. You come into someone's What are we looking at? Steal their belongings and kill those they care about. Uh, I'm not going to let you Is his head phased into the This is our floor? Home, not yours. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to be sarcastic. These feral ghouls are your friends. I'd love to see who you consider your enemy. How ironic you should say something like that. We've defended this place for over 200 years. Do you think you're the first outsider I've met that's chosen to brand feral ghouls as monsters? 
How many of them have you needlessly slaughtered while ignorantly thinking you're doing the world a favor? Hmm. Can we talk him out of this? You've been here for 200 years. Let's see if we can just talk him out of this. Why? We worked here as entertainers. Because this is an annoying fight, you have spell. to admit. The radiation may have changed us, but we decided to make this place our home. Over time. I don't know what all I don't know what Oswald's deal is. It feels like we've got kind of like a crotch level shot at the guy right here too, aren't we? Like kind of looking up from the seam of his pants. This is the weirdest. And exterminates us all. It's too late. Just leave. There's no point in arguing anymore. Just leave. Perhaps I would leave. But I made a <laughs> yeah. promise to keep this place safe until my Oswald's been hitting the, the uh my <laughs> beloved left this the place irradiated years ago to find a cure drinks. For this disease. In return, I swore that I'd keep our people safe by defending hey John. our home. When Rachel walks back through those gates with the cure in hand, Ooh. then you'll see, everyone will see, that I... Oh, Oswald, this is right. sad, man. Uh, maybe we'll go with the go helper? If there is a cure, the only way she'll find it is with your help. No, you're wrong. Oh. I'm tired of this debate. Okay, I guess we I gotta fight. To have your Jeez, you know, we've got like almost 10 out of 10 charisma, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, dude. That's hilarious. Okay, I think it's time for a little arc. A little arc magic. I've really come to appreciate these weapon types. Oh, that's my own sword. Hey, guys, sorry about that. Where is he? Uh. Shit, we got company. Do we, we got company? This is this is a less annoying fight with an entire crew of people keeping tabs on him for me, I have to admit. Let's go, let's go get this guy. Where is he? Okay. Is he a stealth boy? Can I hit him? Right? I didn't remember the invisibility part of this fight. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Guys? Anybody got eyes on him? Did, did somebody kill him? Oh, there he is. All right, Oswald. <laughs> of course, his head is phased through the wall. Typical. Wait, he's not even dead. What? Who got you, dude? This is strange, right? Um... Hang on. I guess we'll take a minute. We'll just do some rat away here. We'll, uh... So he's not really here. And if I do shoot him, it arcs somewhere else. Good lord. Okay, uh, what do I do? What do I do about this? Okay, alright, we got it going. We got it back. 
Fight him like melee? Like, what's up? Generate health it's faster than we can do anything about it. <sighs> Man, we were close on that one. We were close on that one. gonna take no not that guy oh hey we did it I guess not bad sure a lot of Molotov cocktails oh Oswald oh my we are taking rads well that was Diverting. Uh, <laughs> Oof. <laughs> yeah, Hajro. He's definitely got the playing dead perk. I'm just taking a second to follow up on some chat that I was missing while I was busy running after Oswald, right? <laughs> yeah, that does explain it, Adro. He was drinking Molotov cocktails. Finally makes sense. Alright, we gotta get out of here. I don't think there's anything we have to do here, right? I mean, normally I'd go up on the roof and put a flag up there, but... We're not worried about that right now, so... Yeah, I know, guys. I know. We must, the Radex must have worn off somewhere in that fight. Also, where is Nick? There he is. Everybody's wearing power armor but me, it feels like. Um... Sure. We're close. The Sword of Wonders. It's not a bad sword. Doesn't really fit a railroad build, but it's it's a good weapon. You know, it's an okay weapon. What else do we have? The tuxedos, you know. It's not bad. Give them that. That. The top hat. Oh. I think we're good here. In fact, hang on. Kitty Kingdom, turn off the radiation sprayers. I can do that on the roof, right? Can't I? Somewhere. Oh wait, maybe it's uh maybe it's here. There we go. There we go. Glad I did that. Whew. Finally, I can stop sucking down right away. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hm. I 
guess it's just stim pack time. Okay. What do we got? I don't think these guys have dropped anything too big, but okay. Here we go. Of course, it's still pretty radioactive in here, isn't it? So let's... Can I not get to the roof from here? I thought I could. Oh well. Harden. Whew, sneeze. Normal. All right, we've done it. We have cleared Kitty Kingdom. I guess it's just Safari Adventure now, right? That's that's all right. That, that'll be fun. Yeah, thanks, Dom. Oh, I didn't want a full-on sneeze. You know what I mean? Well, uh, I played pretty deep into the Enclave stuff, Damien, when uh, AR2 came out. I was loving it. Um, and just about anything else that helped enhance it. And I still think it's awesome. But this playthrough is a railroad playthrough, yeah. Because I realized I had never really given the railroad a good shake. Like, it needed some help. It's kind of interesting, you... When America Rising 2 came out, that's kind of when I realized how good the factions could be, like should be. The Enclave just had so much going on, and it made me feel like the vanilla factions were lacking afterwards, you know, because they are. And that's when I went on kind of a quest to like buff the rest of the factions, and I've been really enjoying that too. Okay, let's get on over to... Uh Safari adventure, huh? <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, I really try to have a s sneak perk going with my sneezes. I do my best. Oh, uh, maybe this isn't the weapon for this. <laughs> this particular fight. Hang on. There it is. That's the one we want. Belly's good, right? Boom. Nice. You like that, Sito? Oh. That hammer. Sito see you kill monster. You friend. Sure. Please Let's just be friends. nice. Sito happy have strong friend. You kill monster alone. Yeah, he's definitely monster got a Jason Momoa strong, vibe. But you stronger. Sito happy. You know, I thought about doing a playthrough as Sito since he, I have him as a, you know, I can pick him in character selection if I want to. <laughs> but he does basically just look like Jason Momoa. What the heck are those things? Are they some sort of a It's very Adventure Park's track? very loud. No. Yeah. Sito not know. Sito only know. Like this is very loud, right? And monster back. I have 
Yeah, uh, yeah, Rogue Paladin. I did a Raider episode where I did the full Raider thing at Nuka World, and I, I did this whole role play where I was Gabriel, and in the main storyline, the Brotherhood one, and now, since like, and then Gabriel escaped the Institute in the attack. And now since have to basically try to escape the Commonwealth before the Brotherhood hunts them all down. So he managed, he headed for the railroad because he'd heard that they could help. But all the only person left at the railroad was, interestingly enough, Glory. So he picked her up as a, uh, as a companion. And then they went to Nuka World because that's where the Institute was going to send him undercover. Since he had a Raider Boss reputation. So he already knew Nuka World existed as this big force, and he went there to try and turn them into an army to attack the Brotherhood of Steel, which he managed to do. And I had this whole long playthrough all about it. Maybe that's too much for a faction overhaul, but I kind of need a reason. I need a reason for a new playthrough, you know? It made it more fun for me anyway. Maybe. Anyway. Do you have any idea where they're coming from? Sito, not no. New friend, follow Sito. Sito <laughs> Damien, dang. Style points for that idea. Monsters. The pack mixed with lobotomites and Sito as an enforcer. I don't think we need to be looting gator claw meat. There's nothing that great about it, right? And wait, hold up. Guys, we're supposed to be following Sito. Where'd he go? There he is. Any place without rad sprayers is automatically just immediately better than the Kitty Kingdom. I'm like just relieved. Okay, spoke a little too soon. Now there's a rad storm, but you know. It's his fault for being asleep right in the path. Dude. Yeah. You guys have a ton of awesome comments. I don't even know which ones to respond to. Yes, Sito is too pure for this world. Yes, the Gator Claws should still be a thing at Nuka World. Uh, although maybe they're not, like... Maybe they're... You know, infertile. As clones. Uh, yeah. Sito. This home. This family. <laughs> Sito. No worry. They not hurt you. You friends. Sito. Oh, Tarzan. Mean you friends. Nuka family. World Tarzan. How did you end up being raised by these gorillas? Sito, very small. When first family die. First family. Right, Hajro? Like Sito. Sito not die. Just walk. Walk. Find zoo place. <laughs> Damien, Find you're cracking me up, family. man. New family help Sito. Give Sito food. Give water. Keep Sito safe. This is basically now just the Tarzan Sito plot, right? And strong. Baby's pa families, families die in a dangerous like place. Monsters. Gorillas adopt baby. Become his surrogate family. Yeah. Uh, you have a... Lovely family, Sito. You say nice thing. Sito right? Like right, Hajro? These gorillas now are not the worst family Sito. in the Fallout universe. Family you know, like, you listen to Kate's story about her parents. Monsters. That's worse. Here only play safe. Here have no food. Here have no water. Sito go outside to help family. Monster try to kill Sito. Sito kill many. More monsters come. Never stop. Sito scared monster hurt family. Okay, well, I mean, it's a little... Not very articulate, but I think he's given us the information we need. I hope you know somewhere to start. Sito maybe know. 
Zito have story. Story help stop monsters. <laughs> Zito eat with family. Wrinkly man come inside home. Wrinkly man hurt. Zito try help. Wrinkly man say he make monster. <sighs> right, right, right. I remember this now. Man wrinkly man. Monsters hurt family. Wrinkly man sorry monsters hurt family. He gives Sito shiny thing. Yeah, Kate's Same Kate's story is pretty bad, and yeah, Sito Damien, I know what you mean, monsters. but it's cool if you send the pack Sito here to the park; they actually get along with him great. But wrinkly it's, man died. It's kind of nice. Sito put wrinkly man in ground, but keep shiny. <laughs> right, he doesn't have to be a smooth now talker, does he, Hajro? Thing, new friend, help Sito. I mean, actually, I ought to just be impressed he remembers English at all, right? I mean, he's been been living totally alone. Okay, boys. Does the uh, gorilla not come with me? Did I somehow miss that bit of dialogue? Huh. Sito. Dead man have important thing. Okay, fine. We'll go find it. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's that's what happens. If you send the pack as the group that takes over the Safari Adventure Park, then actually they they end up really liking Sito and and the gorillas. And Sito will tell you that himself that they're actually pretty they like his family a lot. And it's it's, it's like, oh, well, you know, kinda makes sense. Let's see, what do we want to do here? Last time I was in this park it was with my institute overhaul and I just threw a bunch of uh, institute <laughs> relay grenades around and let let synths take these guys out. Not this time, I guess. We'll we'll throw some fragmentation grenades around and see if we get somebody. No. Where is this guy? There he is. We missed that shot. <laughs> it's like point blank. Uh, that's right. Come and get somebody. They, they're like uh, death claws. Their bellies are the most um, vulnerable, I guess. I don't think there's anything back here of note, really. Seems to me like a modder could use this door. And this tower, if they wanted to, as a like a an interesting space to build something into. A lot of these blocked off interiors that don't have anything in them could be way more useful. But I don't see too many modders do things with Nuka World as far as you know building any more in it. They tend to just do the obvious, you know, like that we all want, and tweak the raiders a bit. Or maybe add, like, uh, vertebrate landing pads and things like that. Got a thing for antiques, huh? <laughs> okay, where are we going? Let me see if I can remember. Huh. Okay. Hmm. I can't Tonight's remember the uh, the anaconda thing is. Theater. Up we'll there. Be okay. The <laughs> I get Oh ho! Dang! We got, a, got any more takers? Look at this, look at this team. Let's just take a minute to admire how much backup I'm rolling everywhere with. If I remember right, we can get another one to spawn in here. Right, comes out of the pool. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 I almost feel sorry for him. <laughs> I'm just trying to build up some crits. That's why I'm using bats. Okay. I remember if we go through this cave, we can find a gator claw fighting a Yagwai. Hello, the legendary albino Yagwai. No idea. Dang, this gun, though. Yeah, I saw that, too. Ooh. Oh, that's not a bad assault rifle to hand to a companion. Oh, of course we're overloaded. Nick! <laughs> Get over here. Hey. I'm listening. Wow, he is just carrying everything, isn't he? What else can I hand him? Mm. Wow, not much else unless I want to start handing him junk I picked up. See this feral bile? It's uh, 1.1 pounds, so it's kind of heavy for carrying around. Thanks. We're good. Let's reload this bad boy. Yep. Yep. The Dominate. I might need to rename this the Dominator. I mean, it's a railroad build, so I was going with the freedom thing, but... Guys tear at each other for a minute. Okay, stunted Yao guy is no. And the Gator Claw's got more. Uh... What? I didn't mean to shoot that Yao guy. I meant to shoot the Gator Claw. I guess I didn't realize I had selected it. It's not fast firing, but I I think the rechamber to forty five seventy was kind of worth it. It's fun to have something with so much stopping power. I also kind of love the lore around Nuka-Cola Dark, how it's just... Com like, irresponsibly... alcoholic. And how basically, since they serve so much of it in... Uh, the... Um, you know, the Westworld Park. I forget the name of it. They served so much of it there, everybody was constantly drunk. Just all boozed up, and the employees complain about it in terminal entries. I mean, I almost feel sorry for these gator claws. All it takes is somebody with a seriously overcharged hand cannon, and these guys are down. Almost, almost feel sorry for the Gator Claws. Okay, maybe we, um, maybe we head up to the Angry Anaconda. Do a little damage up here. <laughs> right, right. I mean, it's a good thing we didn't hand Sheffield a Nuka Cola Dark. He would not have recovered from anything if that's what he was drinking. Alive, what do we got, folks? Did you guys have find a Gator Claw already? Oh, so you did. Oh, and you took one down. Oh, no, you just hurt its leg. See, that's what I'm talking about. Look at this. This is so mean. You know, the weapons that break the enemy's leg, they're just... It's, it's rough watching a Gator Claw in this state. This is why the humane thing, you know, to do. If PETA comes asking, it was the humane thing to do. Finishing all these gator claws off. It's because I don't want to see them suffer. Oh, I feel sorry for him. Let's just take him out. Ooh! For now. Yep. 
I remember this being this seeming like a dangerous place to be. <laughs> but it doesn't feel as dangerous when I have all this backup, you know. Sometimes, you know, does it bother anyone else to pull fusion cores out of every generator you find? It bothers me to do it a little bit, because there's a part of me that's like, yeah, but this building needs power. <laughs> well, ain't that a Like, I don't need it that bad. What if I want this entire hospital to, you know, still have lights and stuff in case anybody needs it to? That's that's kind of how I end up feeling. And I don't need that, but I don't need a yardstick. Yep. Okay. No. I don't remember where everything is around here. I feel like there was something in this stuff, right? Isn't there something over here? Appear to be wrong. Hmm. It's kind of cool to be able to see the park, though. <laughs> okay, Hajro. Yeah, I get it. It's not like. It's not like the mechanics of the game actually change anything when you steal one of the fusion cores out of the generators, but it's just a part of me that's like, that's so selfish. <laughs> just leave it. It's been powering a building for 200 years. It's going to keep powering this whole building, and what am I going to do with it? I'm going to stick it in a set of power armor and run around with that for a couple hours, and then it's just gone. <laughs> Seems messed up. Uh, I can't remember if there's any good looting here. Wow, the answer seems like a pretty definitive no. Yeah. No. Okay. I think we need to send Sheffield to this red rocket when this is all over. This this is the place for him. A place where he can indulge his new addiction as much as he wants. Hey, you mind keeping an eye out for a second? Oh, and we haven't saved in a minute, so we're gonna Yeah. I haven't had issues with crashing, uh, except in the death tunnel when I'm up against, I don't know, 50 zombies or something at once, and then stuff gets real. Hi. You know, I like it better when we get him in bats. I almost felt bad coming in here and taking him out. I mean, he looked like he was just chilling like a like an actual gator, you know? Looked like an actual alligator. Hajro, you're right. You're right. That would be cool. And Sierra Petrovita can't be the only, like, Nuka-Cola aficionado in the world of Fallout, right? I mean, there's got to be somebody else that would be really interesting to have her interact with. These idiots, they just keep showing me their bellies, you know? That's 
back here. Thank you guys. Thank you. Uh, who wants to take out bugs with a revolver, you know? Nice. Nuka Hardy. That sounds kind of promising. What's that noise? Uh right. I guess we can't get I know it's you from here. Nothing. I know it's you. Attention, space is he talking pilots. to Gator Claws? Is is under attack. Just trash talking Gator Claws. Our only hope for survival. Ships are now boarding at Nuka Who Galaxy. Won, the cows or the Gator Claw? Oh, I guess the fight's still going on. Way over. Ooh, the cows did not win. Who's he fighting now then? Right? Let's just take it. Oof. That's fun. That is fun. Not that it's an option. Oh, and then I guess we take out the Bromelof. They are pretty aggressive, these Bromelof. Yeah, I don't care about that. What was this theater for, anyway? Oh, I see the boxes. One, two, three. Clearly they were just doing animal tricks here. Attention. All contestants for the Nuka-Cola drinking contest must turn in their indemnity waivers before they will be allowed to participate. You wanted large ants in the Commonwealth, Hajro? See, I wouldn't have thought to worry about it, but it's always interesting what people really want to see, you know. Everybody's got a little something different. And for the most part, modders tend to bring it. <laughs> okay. I hear the Gator Claw. Can we not get into the hedge maze from these sides? Dang. I could have sworn there was a way into the hedge maze from here. Tonight's showing at the Starlight okay. Interstellar Theater will be Night of the Fishman's Revenge. Not recommended for children under five. Yeah, actually, Hajra, you're, you have a point. If there were giant, terrible ants, they would just take everything over. There'd be so many of them. Interesting that we can see into that. Let's see about these soda mixes. Nuka Hardy, what is the deal with this? Adds to max AP. Okay, needs a Tato and a Carrot, though. <laughs> okay. Bomb drop. Add some rads. Low light vision. That's kind of cool. Damage resist. Heck, I, I guess I've got to make one of these at least. Try it out. And then, um... Wow. Look at this guy. HP, rad resist, damage resist, and AP. Yes, please. Ooh, I finally found a bottle of rum. I can finally make a rum and nuka. Doesn't add any charisma, though. That's too bad. Still, let's do it. Right, what did happen to the spiders in the Fallout universe? Well, let's look at it this way. It's possible that the um, it's possible that the spiders didn't evolve with the radiation, and then you know what are they going to do? Catch bloat flies? I don't think so. <laughs> you know. The detective's life isn't an easy one, but it rarely lacks for excitement. 
Okay. marker in here. It's probably for Cappy stuff. Um, how do I get into the dang hedge maze? This shouldn't be so hard. There's the tree house. There's... Oh, I went around the whole thing. Sorry for this, guys. Must be annoying watching me just run circles around the hedge maze trying to figure out how to get in. I missed the sparrow line, but that's pretty good. That's pretty good, Damien. I guess it is all him. Yeah, I hear the gator claw. Why is it that I can't seem to figure out how to get into this hedge maze from here? There we go. I mean, if I gotta do this, then I guess I gotta do this. And I... And you guys thought I couldn't parkour. <laughs> because I can't. There he is. Ha <laughs> ha. Where are you, big guy? I see you. Oh, I missed him. Oh, oh, he's figuring it out. For a minute there, I felt sorry for him, you know, like not being able to figure out how to get to me. It's his own fault for running around in a maze, I suppose, but... Okay, guys. Yeah, you go ahead. You go ahead, fellas. Okay. guys. Hang on. Give me a sec. Getting there. I could have sworn I saw a mod, by the way, guys, that give, lets you have insect companions, like... I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a mod that lets you do that. Look at all this! Loot, loot, loot. I kind of thought there'd be a cappy up here, though. If I'm honest. Mm. 
And once again, the military was in the park. I guess there is no campy here. that quest markers for but I guess we gotta go find out don't we underneath the treehouse Hope I can get back out of here. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Oh, I think we can do this, right? Can't we? No, we can't jump over the hedge. That seems so possible for a sec. Fine, we'll get out of here. I mean, that's kind of fun. It's kind of fun to use the railroad goggles to find them, too. Just kind of neat to combine the two. Oh, wow, I do not know where I'm going. Did it have to get so dark? There we go. All right. Next, next, next. Uh, oh, hi. <laughs> Oh, one shot exploded him and leveled up. That's that's nice. That's nice. Okay. <laughs> what even can we do here? Uh, we got our crits pretty full. We could crank up the heavy weapon stuff again. Maybe explosives. Sneak. Mm. Bloody mess, of course. Mr. Sandman, yeah. But I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Uh, go here. Wait, there's a there's a Cappy behind the primate statue? Cool. Let's go get it. Prepare to experience life beyond Earth and among the oh. stars. Oh, Exhibit both. sponsored by a grant from the Vault Tech Corporation. Okay. Guess we have more gator claws to kill out here. But where? Right. Hang on. On the map. Find the hidden cappy from Dry Rock Gulch. Okay, okay, so we got a bunch of cappies to track down, but uh, not here in the treehouse or the, uh, the park. Yes. If you're missing an item, stop by our lost and found at the main gate. Your item will be returned to you for a nominal fee.
Oh yeah, Mike? Good for you, man. PDX is, uh... I kind of like that airport. It's chill. Go through here? Confirmed. Seems like I should be able to. Of course, I can't go through here either. Up eh. there, assume you're being eh. watched. Balls. Guys, <sighs> I guess I don't get to go that way. Glad you're with us. There we go. Thank you for the tip. And now, what do we need to do? Listen to McDermott's holotape. Investigate the source of the thingy. Sure, okay. McDermott. Yeah, Mike. Congrats, man. Jobs are not that easy to come by. They just aren't. So, good job. McDermott. I thought that was what it said. Listen to Dr. McDermott. No, no, of course. Cedo. Oh, he's probably all the way back in the ape house, right? All right. Fine. We'll talk to Cedo. Where is the ape house, right? Uh, we're here. Must be this way. <laughs> Patting down good looking girls. That sounds kind of stressful to me, actually. <laughs> the ape house. I thought it was over here. Oh, this park. Well, obviously I haven't been here yet. Attention space pilots, Earth is under attack. 
and you could be our only hope for survival. Ships are now boarding at Nuka Galaxy. Okay. Well, I need Nick. I need to offload some stuff. I think I can make other people carry things, but... How loaded down am I, anyway? Two pounds over. I think I can... I think we can drop something. Let's see. I don't think we need the gas bomb. Mm, 20 Molotov cocktails. <laughs> no. Well, that helped. Okay. Dear God, I don't know where I am. Here we go. Wait, no. We already went... Oh, my God. Guys, how am I getting so turned around here? This must be the ape house. Right? There it is. Okay. Talk to Cito. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, Ranger Goodman. Dead man have important thing. I think so. Huh. So it seems like the Gator Claws or the monsters are coming from an animal cloning facility somewhere beneath Safari Adventure. Shiny thing, help new friend. Yes, it was very helpful. I just need to find the cloning facility. Sito have idea. Sito see wrinkly man come from big triangle house long time ago. Go to big triangle house. Find cloning facility. Stop monsters. Sito come with new friend. Sito All right. help. Thanks, Momoa. Can you get your family to help us? Chris, big and strong. Chris. Chris, help new friend and see. The gorilla's name is Chris? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I expected. I mean, even Sito's name isn't Chris. <laughs> Where'd Chris go? Is this Chris? Is this Chris? Oh, Sito's note. We're gonna read it. It says. Mar Marco Sito. Okay. Oof. Uh, we're not taking this note. Sheesh. I mean, I'll take the... Sure, I'll take the Nuka-Cola, but we're not taking away Sito's note. It's Chris, huh? Okay, fine. Sito and Chris are coming with us. Damien, that's awesome. Seriously. Well, okay. Damien in honor of Uncle Damien. Your Uncle Damien sounds awesome, man. But I'm going to keep calling you Damien because otherwise I'll get confused. Attention, please. Wait, mutated fern? You can find a mutated fern here, huh? I thought those were only in um, that one area of the uh, regular Fallout map. Are still available. Here goes, guys. Yeah. More followers to block the path. Oh, I feel sorry for Gator Claws right now. I had no choice. These guys with their tough guy, you know, like phrases, one-liners. 
have it. Hmm, Nuka Rush, cool. And then there's this whole side story here, right? With the, uh, basically the Fallout PETA. The manifesto. They're like kidnapping scientists and taking them hostage. Chinchilla, orangutan, you know, orangutan, dingo, and grizzly. <laughs> we're, we're at status grizzly, guys. It's not just status dingo. That would be bad enough. It's status grizzly. Ransom note. Well, seems like the hippies kind of messed up on this one. Hello, sir. Oh, he's running. I think he's. I think he's heard about us, right? Our reputation precedes us, I think. I gotta say, when a revolver is this powerful, it's fun to use. Especially with bats. We are picking up a lot of Nuka Cola. Mm, arguably too much. Right, okay. I can't remember exactly what we're supposed to do here. Probably involves this terminal. A lot of psycho in All here for a science lab. The journals. They're really just about the guy trying to get the gator claw thing to work, as I recall. Hmm. Right. Dr. McDermott was kidnapped. This was so scary the first time I was here, as I remember. I felt like 100% outmatched by these guys. Ooh, but I'm one shot in the albino gator claw. <laughs> uh. Oh, not even fair. It's like Dirty Harry. Well, Ranger Goodman, we all know who you are, bud. In the meantime. Absinthe? Don't mind if I do. I'll grab a little Glad of the Green right. Fairy for later. Celebration. There we go. What? There are two more of these guys, huh? Oh, there they are. <laughs> this won't be that hard to find them, I guess. Well, dang, guys. Sito. New friend done? No more monsters? Hmm. And they should not be coming back. 
Your family's safe, Sito. Sito, so happy. How Sito thank <sighs> new friend. Jeez, Damien, that's rough. Uh. I have some friends moving in here. But it won't if be the pack. Cool, we can all get along. Can you do that? Sito trust you. Sito like more new friends. Before go, here, new friend take. It better shiny thing Sito say. Sito want to give. Thank you, new friend. Oh, sh Sito's shiny Sito slugger. Always remember you. I mean, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Oh boy, once again we are overloaded. But we completed Safari Adventure! Woohoo! Wait a minute, what's all this? <laughs> Is this our way out of here? Let's hand him some stuff. He's basically just my pack mule at this point. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Good enough. Dun da da da. Out we go. Yeah. Right, Surge, it's true. Fallout London is going to try to fix itself to work with the next gen update, so, you know, if you want to play Fallout London, you're, yeah, you're basically going to need the next gen update. It's a vicious cycle, right? Um, there's got to be a way out of this water. There we go. We did it! Oh, Damien, I think I might have had that long COVID thing myself for a minute. For real. Just, I wasn't running a fever, I wasn't sick or something, and I definitely wasn't testing positive for something like COVID, but I just had this dry cough just stuck around. It eventually, like, stopped, but there was a while where I just couldn't figure out why I just kept coughing. Pretty sure that's what it was. Because, you know, a little reading, and it's like, yeah, that's kind of what everybody talks about with the uh, long COVID, is just... Weirdly, just kind of having like wheezy lungs for a while. Yeah. Well, here we are, folks. Is that. Let's look at the map. Safari Adventure is clear. Uh, Nuka Cola bottling plants clear. Kitty Kingdom's clear. Dry Rock Gulch is clear, and uh, the Galactic Zone is clear. Mm -hmm. We just have a, you know, there are a few cappies left, I guess.
I'm gonna go over to Dry Rock Gulch and grab one. Oof. We have all the Star Cores but one, you guys. After uh, after one of our streams, I just went and got the rest of the Star Cores. So we just need the one that's up the elevator. When the power comes on, we're good. Clue number seven. Okay. We're going to find some, some hidden cappies. Uh, y yeah, I, I we've got all but like three or something. Uh, I don't have the one from the junkyard yet, star core wise. Um, hang on, we'll go check, right? Let's check. Let's check it out. And yeah, I said the stream was only going to go to one, but I've got a minute. Let's do this. Ooh, hang on. <laughs> uh, okay. Huh. There it is. What do you know? Eight clues. This will be the Almost first time I've done. ever done this. <laughs> We're going to check. I think I've got, like, so many of them. Okay. How many do we have left? 32 out of 35. So, like, if we go to the network, it says there's one still in the Galactic Zone grounds. Dang it. Oh, wait. That... It's probably laying around here somewhere. Shoot. <laughs> and then outside the Galactic Zone. Actually, if there's one in the grounds, it's the one upstairs, right? It has to be that one. So we've got all of them here. Two outside the galactic zone. I know one of them is at the junkyard. I guess I don't know where the other one is. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's go get a cappy, shall we? Because I have never done that Brad Burton thing. It's clue number nine. Pretty cool. One left. One left. Where would that one be anyway? Oh, I didn't get the one, the cappy in the bottling plant. Jeez. I grabbed the Nuka Town Market one. I got the one on the ride. I think it's, I think the star core that's here is, is the one that's upstairs that we have to power the elevator up to go get, right? I think we're good in the galactic zone. It's, so we have the that one and the junkyard one, which means there's a there's another one that I don't know how to account for. <laughs> Somewhere. We're gonna find this cappy in here. Welcome to the Nuka Cola World of Refreshment. Now I have a mod a that puts the uh, the cappy. The hidden Nuka cappies Cola on quest markers. <laughs> just to kind of help you get to them easier. Which is, it's definitely working. Okay. Out west, they enjoy regional favorites, such as the classic Look at that. Cola Quartz. And refreshingly, we got all the cappies. Wow, I have never gotten all the cappies. That is so cool. Thanks, guys. I mean, like, I had some help on that. That is so cool. 
It took almost two years to perfect the formula, but in late 2044, Mr. Brown's Nuka Cola began its journey in the year 20. Welcome to the Nuka Cola World of Refreshment. So you guys have done this a bunch, huh? You're being watched, always. Like Dom has, anyway. Dom has done the Cappy quest a bunch, because I have never. It just always seemed like... Like I was never going to randomly run across them, and I wasn't going to scour the park looking for them. It's hard enough to try to find all the star cores, right? Let me see, where... Where is the junkyard? There it is. Let's go over there. Let's get that star core while we're at it. Nice. It's really great how you guys have my back. I don't even know how many problems you guys have helped me solve just by <laughs> having the answers. What are we shooting at? A robot? I thought I tamed the robots. You know, we have more than enough star cores. Oh, I think it's my companions that aggro the robots anyway. first came across this place, I expected to run into, you know, more enemies than there are here. I mean, there are a couple. See, I just, I just, it's hard for me to yank the, the cores out of the generators sometimes. I just kind of don't want to. <laughs> All right. Shot. I love it. Oh, I guess they took it out. Wait, this raider's looking rough. <laughs> I guess this alien took her out. Bingo. 25% to combat knife and switchblade damage? Nice, that's actually the weapon I've been rocking on this playthrough. Just as a stylistic choice. That's great. Okay. Again, we're overloaded. Let's see. Two pounds, huh? We can ditch two pounds. Uh, all we gotta do is... Probably dropping eight items would be the smart thing, but let's check the weapons. Am I carrying around something stupid that I don't need? Definitely don't care about. I don't really care about mines. But honestly, most of this stuff I need. Okay, I guess we're going to drop something. Let's see. Wow, wow a lot of eight. A lot of eight items. Uh, are we carrying a melon around by any chance? This thing's weigh a thousand pounds. No. Well, let's just, uh... That did it. <laughs> okay. Sense out of the well. Okay, okay, dude. Come on. Eh. Wow. There's no, no getting past that guy. There we go. I feel kind of bad for this Nukatron defender. I mean, he's a million miles away. Uh, 
Anyway. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know where it is. But hey, I think we did good, right? Uh, we've got all the parks under our control. We're missing maybe like a star core. <laughs> Nuka Cola Adam's Glory. I think all the Nuka Cola is Adam's Glory now. I mean, it's so radioactive. <laughs> uh, hey, Mike. Oh, sorry, the stream was buffering? Okay. Yeah, I agree, Damien. That is kind of a deranged drawing on there. Who's even shooting? What are these guys doing? They're just... Who cares what you're doing? Oh, this Habala just needs to leave me alone. Don't. Don't come up here. Dude. I don't want to talk to you yet. We'll find him later. Hmm. I've never been to the Dunmore Homestead. Or the Mystery Mansion. So that could be stuff we try out. Habologist Camp. We are so close, though, to doing the... Um, open season thing and getting ourselves Nuka World Red Rocket and then turning that into some kind of cool like railroad settlement. I'm going to have fun with that. Flint Reservoir, Angry Anaconda. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I agree. He was determined to convert us. Maybe I just need to go drop off some items. So, anyway, I think uh, I think that'll do it for today's stream. I think we're going to have to wait until Monday. Monday is when we will go through and like finish this stuff off. We're going to we're going to do on Monday. The plan will be do the um, Sierra Petrovita thing, you know, do the Brad Burton thing. I've never done it. And we'll do uh, open season. We'll just take the park and clear it out. So hopefully Fallout Boy can attend, you know. Uh, we, if we've got time beyond that, um, great. But it, we'll be setting up the, or we'll do the um, power plant, of course. Uh, we'll find the last star core somewhere. I mean, is it in the power plant? I don't even remember. Um, I'll have to figure that out. And uh, we'll just kind of get, like, Nuka World up and running, railroadized. It'll be a lot of fun. It'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, I guess I have to check out the mansion. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll totally go to the... We'll, we'll just kind of do the tour. We'll see the sights. And um, I'm pumped for the Brad Merton thing because I've never done it myself. And I've never done the mansion myself. And, you know, like, there's so much left to do in Nuka World, really, if I think about it. And then building that Red Rocket settlement up as a railroad, like, safe house. Yes. Yes, please. That's going to be a lot of fun. Do not destroy the raiders under any circumstances. Why not, Surge? Isn't that how I have... That's basically what it's going to take to turn the power back on here, is to take them out first. Otherwise, i got to do all the raider quests. Anyway, so that's the plan, guys. Thank you for being on stream with me. Yes, I won't forget. Well, okay, Damien, you might have to remind me, remind me. But yeah, we're going to bring Sheffield to that red rocket. That's perfect. Hajro, thanks for that idea. Yep. See you guys Monday. I hope you have awesome weekends. I'm going to be cooking some videos up this weekend for sure. I've got a couple things brewing in mind, so that's going to be great. All right, and you know, if I've got questions for anybody, I'll uh, I'll be on um, uh, Discord, and I'll I'll just kind of fire them off there. But thanks, guys. All right. I know, Dom. I know it's all NCR for you. I I kind of get it now. I do. I kind of get it. Sometimes you just got to have a playthrough that's just all about something, and I that's pretty cool. 
All right. Thank you, Surge. Six days until every mod that I've shown you probably breaks simultaneously, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe it's time for a clean slate. You know, maybe it's time to just wipe the slate clean and start over with whatever new mods emerge or something. Maybe only the more, more recent mod authors will get on, fix their stuff, and maybe it'll be like kind of like a, you know, clean start. I don't know. Sometimes those are good. We'll, we'll see. We'll see, right? And if Fallout London gets fixed pretty fast, which I think it will, then, I don't know. In some ways, it's like, who cares about the old mods, right? We'll have so much fun with that for a while. But anyway, see you Monday, everybody. Thank you so much. Thanks for the awesome chat stuff. You know, thanks for sharing just kind of about yourselves. Congratulations, Mike, on the job. Sorry, Damien, on feeling sick. We really do hope you get better, bud. Um, and to everybody else... I hope life goes awesome for you this weekend. We'll see you on Monday. I can't wait. Yeah. All right, guys. Guess I'm out. We're going to jump off. See you guys.